Hi there and welcome to part 7 of the Autodesk Factory Design Suite tutorial here at Man & Machine TV. I'm James Smith, a Factory Design Specialist at Man & Machine and in today's episode we will be covering 4D review with Navisworks. Appending all of our models into the manufacturing layout we can then start interrogating the model further. So the great thing with Navisworks is it allows you to open up the whole factory and like a digital mock-up so you can view it and view the whole facility all in one. I'm now going to look at the new welding cell as you can see here. If I use the walk feature we can just walk in there slightly and we can have a look at some of the components we've drawn throughout the previous episodes. I'm going to use some of the tools on the sidebar there so I'm just going to have a look around here. And you can see all of the robots and also that the I-beams and also the air conditioning unit we did earlier. So I'm now going to use one of the one of Navisworks um, features which is clash detection. So if I just select clash detection, I'm going to run a simple test. So I preset this up. There's a couple of types of different clearance you can use. I'm just going to use clearance to make sure anything's clashing. I just want to check that the new cell and all of its components doesn't clash with the sprinkler system which is already going around the ceiling. So I'm going to run the test and you'll notice it's instantly given me a few clashes. So if I just roll through there there's eight clashes. I'm just going to look at the first one. So if we just scale that down slightly you can see there there's with the ducting and the sprinkler system itself. So now what we can do is we can actually switch back to the inventor model and change this. So by doing so, if I right click and then hit switch back. This is back into the inventor environment where we can make any changes that we need to to the model. So I'm going to select the vent. First of all, I'm going to set the um, part priority. So I'm going to select that and then it brings up all of my model parameters. I'm just going to change that to 30. So this will give us better clearance and I'm just going to update all of the other instances. As you can see it all moves and it's all updated. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to save this and then hit back and go back to Navisworks. And back in Navisworks I can hit the refresh button here at the top and this will check the cell so all its links and associativity and see if there's any changes and update the Navisworks model. Once this has been updated we can then go back and retest the model. So I'm just going to run the exact same test and you can see now that, that actual clash itself has gone. There is several others but we can address those later. But once we've done this um, we can then go on and we can start looking at features like timeline, a presenter, an animator. Um, I will be doing a, another series of videos on Navisworks in the coming months, so I'll go into this in a lot more detail there. In next week's show, I'll be covering working with point cloud data. If you have any questions relating to today's episode, just email factory at manandmachine.co.uk and I'll do my best to answer them in the next show. To keep up to date with all the latest news, follow us on Twitter at Man and Machine UK or find us on Facebook and LinkedIn. Also, don't forget to register for the National Factory Design Conference where you can find out about overcoming all of the latest issues affecting the sector. The event is taking place at the National Metal Forming Centre in West Bromwich on Wednesday the 26th of September. To book your free place, go to manandmachine.co.uk forward slash NFD conference. Thanks again and we look forward to seeing you next time.